Good evening everybody. As you can see, we've got a Monty with us. It is oh, Monday, thank you, the 8th of July. And Monty is just, he's just so into everything he flipping well shouldn't be. Oh, there we go, bit cleaner. Honestly, it's just the dirt. There we are. Bit of light. Huh. All sorted now. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Monty just gets into absolutely everything. He's, he's messing around with my feet at this very moment in time. I have literally just finished work. I've just finished seeing two clients and I'm absolutely oh, done in. I'm going to go and cook dinner in a minute. Um, do fajitas tonight, I think chicken fajitas that's just what the weather calls for it's very hot outside and I am beyond thinking at the moment oh. it's not easy working for yourself and running your own business it is tiring but rewarding and helping people is what we do okay we're very good at that um, some things to look forward to this week on Wednesday England versus the Netherlands Holland how do you want to call them the Dutch at eight o'clock on Wednesday the 10th of July so I don't know probably be on ITV this time since the last one was on the BBC oh they still seem to share it between them oh. gosh do excuse me Ah, oh, you'd have seen my workload today. You'd have said, "Lady, are you insane? Are you sure you're going to get through all that?" You know what? Yes, I need to know when I need to finish, so I work backwards from that, and that's when I need to start. And it has all been accomplished and dealt with, and the rest of my work is sat behind me. Yes. What? What have you found? Oh. Oh, goodness me. Are you playing with things you should be? Yes, you are, aren't you? Oh, you can be so naughty. Honestly. Oh, it's just like having a brand new baby in the house. Oh, gosh, am I so glad I stopped at two. And then we got you, didn't we? Yes. Well, you leave it alone. It's not yours. God. Monty! Yeah, don't you back chat. Oh, I think we're hitting the teenagers. Is back chatting already? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Oh, honestly. He's such a handful. He truly is. Oh, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm glad I've had two children. I really am. One's in South Korea at the moment, enjoying um, a summer university, learning the language and um doing all things zoology Ooh, and uh, epidemiology and anything else that has an ology at the end of it i'm sure she'd be doing it and uh, my other daughter is out with work colleagues tonight and they've gone for a curry so yay and it's just my husband and myself so chin and tonics all round everybody and um chicken fajitas and um no doubt monty will want to join us at the table because he he seems to think he's human half the time <laughs> don't you darling yes oh i would honestly advocate adopt don't shop rspca for kittens and puppies and rabbits and hamsters and any type of cute and furry animal if they need a home and you have space and you think you can take one oh do so gosh i'm so sorry i'm yawning oh it's been such a long hard day look at my eyes i'm exhausted oh yes i'm glad i work for myself yes i'm the glad i am the master of my own destiny but oh some days 
I get so oh, tired. I bet you're all going to start yawning now, aren't you? You're watching me yawn, so you're going to start yawning. Yes, that's right, isn't it, Monty? Yep, he says, yeah. And I don't know if you can hear him, but he does talk. He's a real chatterer. We find out he's a wedgie. Yes, a Norwegian forest cat. Uh, I'm lucky. Yeah, you, you little wedgie. I know, first time they said that that was their nickname. Oh, well, you know, I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, sorry, I'm in the way. I've been kicked out of my own office. Oh, kindness. Isn't it lovely that we can appreciate and love animals? Aren't they the best thing that ever happened to us? I love him. I think Monty is such a cute little cat. Yes, I do. I think you're wonderful, even though you're into everything you shouldn't be. Oh, I don't know. You found something you like, don't you? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so that, that has been my day. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I have to tell you about this video that I saw earlier about trad wives. Now, I see myself as a bit of a trad wife. You know, I work from home. I take care of the kids. I um, do all the housework. I do all the cooking and the cleaning. Naturally so, I'm here all the time. So I'm going to take the lion's share of the work. But uh, I didn't realise that they turned it into such a, a lucrative business. I mean, where do they find the time to make the cereal? You know, that's what we've got Kellogg's for. <laughs> you know, a box of Kellogg's cornflakes. You know, I just don't get it. They're, um, they obviously have an awful lot of time and you never see the children running around, uh, you know. So I can only assume that these lovely ladies oh, have got lots and lots and lots of help because I don't think I could do a day's work and then think, oh, I'm, hang on kids, I'm going to rustle me up some breakfast for the morning, we're going to have Gallup Garflakes and mummy style and it's like, Oh, and I told my daughters about it and they burst out laughing and went, oh, well, maybe they just really enjoy making things like that. And I think, good on you, if you've got the time and the energy and the patience and you're not yawning. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you're not yawning like me, then you go ahead and make your cornflakes. But this, this trad wife business, I mean, yes. What man wouldn't want a traditional wife, the one that stays at home and does the housework and does the cooking and the cleaning and, and everything else? But, you know, there's more to a woman than cooking, cleaning, washing, ironing. Yeah, she, you know, she's a sentient being. She needs to be worshipped. Ah, you don't have to worship them. But, you know, you have to throw them a little bit of love now and again. But, yeah, these trad wives are just amazing. Perfect hair, perfect makeup, perfect dress. There's never a grease stain in sight. Their houses are absolutely immaculate. There'd be nothing like I, how I live. I mean, gosh, it, it's almost like they're walking into a show home. I mean, it's like a set, a studio set. And, you know, I'm, they have children, but you can't see them and you can't hear them. So either they've gone out with uh, the the partner while they're busy sorting my stuff for it. Oh, it's been such a hard day. They're either sorting out, um, you know, the, the shopping and, and everything else, um, or, or taking the kids to the park or, or something. Oh, they've got nannies. Because, I mean, these ladies don't look as though they're, you know, short of um, their husbands do good jobs so that they can stay at home. And, yeah, so I'm assuming that they can also pay for a nanny. I said, wow, is that a different life? I mean, good grief. You know, I 
get out of bed in the morning and wonder what day of the week it is. Not whether or not I've made homemade cereal. <laughs> Which I have to laugh. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Amazing. Good on you girls. Good on you girls. If you can get the find the time to make homemade cereal, fabulous. I just let me know your secret. Cause I am I'm run ragged, but in running the house and getting child number two to and from university and I'm worrying about whether or not she's okay in South Korea to the other one getting her uniform organised and getting her sorted and, and ready for her work and blimey that by the time I'm done the day is gone and and that's why I'm actually making myself sit down and have time just to say hi how you doing look forward to the England match on Wednesday yeah I'm just gonna flop in the sofa I think Monty will launch himself on me I'll be sat there thinking what day where am I who are you? Uh, is the footy on? <laughs> you know, that's where I'm looking forward to. Oh, we're all on Wednesday. I hope we do all right. But, as I always say, may the best team win. And we'll leave it at that. We'll see what Wednesday brings. But, yeah, getting back to these trad wives. Uh, they're absolutely immaculate. They're beautiful. They've got figures to die for. And, you know, this sprang back so quickly after childbirth. I mean, wow. You know, I still look as I'm pregnant. And it's, my last baby was 20 years ago. <laughs> Although I am trying to lose weight. But, oh, ain't the menopause the gift that keeps on giving? Absolutely. You know, it's harder to shift the weight as you get older. It really does. I mean... The, I look at it like this. There's more of me to love. And ain't my husband a lucky fella? Yeah, he truly is. He's got an absolute diamond here. And I do truly love him. I've just been uh, helping him get um, some equipment in the back of the car. He's not actually technically at home at the moment. He had to drive um, and, and drop some stuff off to a, a, fr um, a friend's house. So um, I expect I'll see him in about an hour. So that's why I've got a little bit of time to sit down and, and, and chat with you guys. So yeah, tell me, what do you think about Trad Wives? Aren't they amazing? They're fantastic. These girls, my goodness. I don't know where they get the energy from to look that glamorous all the time. I never wear makeup. I don't think I've got time to put it on. Apart from when we're going somewhere super special, like a graduation, or um, it's my anniversary, or a birthday, or maybe we're going out for dinner. But hey, who's got time to even go out for dinner these days? Blimey, what with the business, and my husband's engineering, and the kids? I don't know. We've just left the weekend, and I'm already at the weekend with the workload. I mean, good grief. Ah, yeah, roll on Wednesday night, roll on the weekend. Oh, honestly, we were not, we were born for hard work was this generation. It truly, truly was. I don't think we know the meaning of take a breather, sit down, have five. What's that? I know I have a sofa in the house. Occasionally I wave to it as I go past it. I dream of sitting on it, but that, that's a rare occurrence. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, I think that's where I'm going to go after I finish prepping dinner in the kitchen. To which, it is seven o'clock in the evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is coming up to 15 minutes. I'm afraid that's all I can manage today, but I do truly hope that you have all had the best day. The sun has been shining. I hope you've had tremendously wonderful adventures. If you're reading some good books, please tell me what they are. I may enjoy them myself. I'm going to read my book tonight, hopefully when I get to bed, if I can keep my eyes open. 
and um yeah well, and i will catch up with you um with monty tales of monty's adventures and um whatever i get up to tomorrow so oh my goodness me well what videos am i going to watch tomorrow and what books am i going to finally find the energy to sit down and read ah it's anybody's guess but yes i'm hoping to start on my summer readings very very soon because we're nearly halfway through summer <laughs> i know where's the time gone oh my goodness at least i've stopped yawning right yay well here's to what tomorrow brings all the excitement all the fun tell me how your day has gone i do think about you all and um much love to all of you and take care and i will see you soon